Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Travel Sea Ride. Today in the last episode of my Switzerland diaries, we are going on a once in a lifetime adventure on the Glacier Express from Zermatt to Kur. This scenic train ride takes you through the Swiss Alps and is considered one of the most beautiful train journeys in the world. Let's hop on board and see what this incredible experience has in store for us. My name is Archana and today I am taking you on a panoramic ride through the Swiss Alps on a very very famous journey. I am on the Glacier Express train which runs from the foothills of Matterhorn mountain in Zerma to St. Moritz and Davos. So this is actually one of the most beautiful rides you will ever come across. It passes through 291 bridges and 91 tunnels and there are three passes which come on the way. It in fact reaches the its highest point which is at 2000, yeah about 2000 meter above sea level. The beautiful panoramic windows lets you enjoy the beauty of the Swiss Alps you know this is one of the journey that you should absolutely absolutely do if you are in Switzerland the Glacier Express offers a comfortable and luxurious way to travel there's a restaurant car with a menu of delicious Swiss dishes and a bar car serving up drinks and snacks. And the best part, we can enjoy all of this while taking in the stunning views through the panoramic windows. During my journey, I got an opportunity to interact with the train chief of the Glacier Express and this is what he had to say when I asked him what makes Glacier Express so special and why it's called the world's slowest fastest train. What is the speciality about this train? Why should guests come on this train? The, the speciality is you're boarding in Zermatt and you go out in Kua and you must, you have here the service, you have the meat, meal, you have uh, the salad to drink, you don't must change the train. Right. It's, and the views. And the views. Views, yeah. of can, course. Yeah, the mountains, you have every, in the summer you have summer time is nice, the winter time is nice, we have the snow in the winter. Right. That's nice. And right now the autumn colors are really beautiful. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's all that. changed every, every day so you make change the, the view. Right. And I've heard that this train passes around 291 uh, bridges and 91 tunnels. Yeah. Is that right? 291 kilometers. Wow. Wow. That's <laughs> oh, a lot. From Zermatt to St. Moritz. From Zermatt to St. Moritz. Yeah. Okay. And, and you need nearly eight hours to St. Eight, eight hours. You know, while I boarded the train, I heard that it was saying this is the slowest, fastest train. Is that true? Yeah, this is the slowest, fastest train because we make only stop in Brieg, Andermatt, this and this, and Kur, and St. Moritz. Okay, great, great. So, Titus, in which year was the first Glacier Express train introduced in Switzerland? It's 1934. Wow, 1930. Yeah, yeah. So in eight years, it's going to be 100 years. Yeah. Wow. And it has become very popular, especially for the people who are doing grand tour in Switzerland. Yeah. It's very popular. The, the first train now is a grand difference. Right. We have changed it from three years ago. Uh, ago I don't know. Okay. We have changed all here mm -hmm. and we make the excellence class. Excellent class. Okay, great. So this is the first class, this right? This is the first class that we have also the excellence class. Excellence class. Yes. Okay, what's special in that? The special is you have only 20 persons in the coach. Okay. You have a sommelier for you. Oh. For you. you have a meal. Mm -hmm. You have all together mm -hmm. for one price. Wow. So how many classes of... Uh, but like how many classes are there in this train so there's first class there's excellence class and there's second difference class. here we have now for 66 persons first class for okay this train. Mm -hmm. the other train have 66 and 20 person excellence class and 96 
second class. Wow, so many. Yes, Great. So the other two trains normally is full. Normally full. Yeah, okay. You don't have to place. You don't you have to place. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you, you, Titus. Thank you for your time. Hey, Lucy, this is your first time on Glacier Express. Yes. And how do you find the experience? Yeah, good. It's beautiful. We like to take things slow. I mean, we're traveling with a little toddler, so. It's nice to take it slow and take it all in and see the views, yeah. How did you hear about it? I actually, I like to do a lot of research and I look into everyone's vlogs and vlogs and this one was talked about um, by another family who was travelling with a toddler and so I booked it, yeah. Awesome, yeah. awesome. And uh, would you say that, you know, how, what would you say about the train system of Switzerland? I think it's beautiful. Sometimes it is tricky navigating passes and tickets and seat reservations but once you get the hang of it it's actually not too bad it's quite simple and what do you like about this whole route from Zermatt to Kur? you cover a lot of ground um, in one sitting whereas you're not rushing from one train to the other so it's a nice way for us to go from one side of Switzerland to the other so yeah thank you enjoy your trip thank thanks you. a lot bye Hey guys, so I have reached the oldest town in the whole of Switzerland. I am at Kur, where I came after finishing my Glacier Express journey. It is said that this town is approximately 13,000 years old. Initially, it wasn't a town at all. It was a community and in fact here, train came before the station came and the whole city had a lot of art pieces at the station currently there are two art pieces one of them is this art piece and that's the core station I took a two-hour walking tour of Kur with a local guide learning about the history and culture of the city from a local's perspective or the square where people used to go and have a drink. My tour started from the train station passing through the lively centre into the winding street of Kors Old Town and up to the 800 year old cathedral. And after that, yes. where did we go? Oh, yes, we did go up here. Okay. And then we entered in here. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a museum, you know. Right. And then we crossed here, above. Mm -hmm. And then we were actually at the Giger Square, you know, yeah. the storage guy, it's Giger uh -huh. Square here. Right. And then we crossed here, uh -huh. government. Okay. Government, yeah. yeah, government, you remember. And then we went here, you know, up the alley, touching mm -hmm. then, you know, the actually Weisskasse, uh, mm -hmm. the alley of the empire, mm -hmm. townhouse, townhouse right. town hall, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we went here in the Craven Alley, right. you remember? Right. And then we had here just, you know, then here, you know, the oldest um, you remember the oldest house, house? Yes, yeah, the yeah. oldest house and everything was here. That's the oldest house here right. in the rear. Okay. And then we went up here, mm -hmm. pr former prison former here. Former prison, right. Okay, and then we came all up here, you know, onto the episcopal court. court right. Here, castle of the bishop. Right. That's right. that, yeah. Right. Yeah, right. and then... We passed through several parks, monuments and historical architecture. After the tour, I took a train to Zurich. And now I'm on my way to Zurich and tomorrow I fly back to India. So overall, the grand tour of Switzerland was a resounding success and I definitely need Switzerland more. So I love, I'm in love with Switzerland and I'm sure so will you once you come and explore this place. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more travel adventures. See you in the next video from another destination.